If you're planning on visiting Glacier Park this year, there are some things you need to know. In this video, we're going to talk about all the changes that have been made and what you need to know if you want to get inside the park this year. So it is June of 2022 and we're sitting here at Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park. And one of the big things that has changed over the past couple years is you need a ticket, a daily reservation to get in the park. You can't just show up and pay your entry fee. You have to get a $2 vehicle reservation pass in order to access this part of the park. There are a couple places we'll talk about later that you can get in without the pass. But to get on going to the Sun Road from either direction and to get into the North Fork, you have to have one of these daily reservations to get in. So if you look at this map, you'll see that the entire east side of Glacier Park is bordered by the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. And two years ago, during the height of coronavirus or the start of coronavirus, they closed every entrance on that side of the park, which in turn funneled everybody over to this entrance here at West Glacier. So if you look at the map and you look at the Blackfeet Reservation, there's many entrances to the park on the east side. From the north, you have Chief Mountain, Mini Glacier, St. Mary Entrance, which is the other side of going to the Sun Road from here, Cut Bank, Ranger Station, Two Medicine, and then East Glacier. Well, all of those were closed back in 2020 and so everybody that came to the park, which 90% of the country was coming from the east side of the United States to get to the park, well, they had to come around and come over here to the west side. But if you look at this other chart, there was only 1.7 million visitors that came to the park in 2020, but because they all came in the one entrance, it created this huge traffic jam and they had to close the road on a bunch of days. So anyway, they, start, they decided to start doing these tickets, which is where we're at now. But if you look at this chart, you'll see that in 2017, there were 3.3 million visitors and we didn't have tickets and everything was fine. And the east side of the park was open as it is now. But in government fashion, once they start adding a fee or a tax, it, it never goes away. So I'm guessing this $2 ticket's never going to go away. The problem is if you don't know about it, you're going to be turned around at the gate. Look at these guys. So the morning we came to the gate, now they have two places to stop you. This one where the guy checks your daily pass thing. And as you can see, they turned that guy around. And then you go, if you do make the cut and get allowed in, you get to go up to the next main gate to pay your daily fee. Uh, which is what it's always been. Here's another guy that got pulled over. I guess the, the biggest frustrating thing and the reason I wanted to put this video out is a lot of people that come here from out of state have no idea that this is going on now. In fact, Glacier is one of only six different parks in the country that are doing these daily reservations. So here you got another guy turned around. Here's her friend that got turned around. So just beware if you're coming here and you don't have a ticket, this is going to be your fate. So one of the ways that people used to try and beat the system is they'd come around the Camas Road from the North Fork Road out of Columbia Falls. But now, as you can see, they've put a gate here as well. So they, <laughs> you can't get in the back door anymore. And also, what a lot of people think is that you can go up to the North Fork, up to Pole Bridge and go in that gate and then come down the inside North Fork Road to access going to the Sun Road. But again, that road I don't think has been open for the entire length that the inside North Fork Road hasn't been open for a long time the entire way. So you cannot go up to Pole Bridge and access going to the Sun Road that way either. And like I said earlier, they've also made this ticketing system good for the North Fork as well. So you can't just drive into the park, you know, any day at that gate either. So those tickets are good from six in the morning until four in the afternoon. 
If you don't have a ticket, you used to be able to get up early and go in before 6 o'clock, but now they're doing road construction on going to the Sun Road. So the road is closed up until 6 o'clock, which then you'll need a ticket. So this year, you're going to have to wait until after 4 if you don't have a ticket to get into the park, which doesn't give you a whole lot of time to do any of the big hikes or whatever. So if you don't have a ticket, you got to wait until after 4 o'clock. So if you do want to get a ticket and you haven't already reserved one, they put them on sale about 60 days in advance. So we got online and bought tickets, you know, for the days we wanted to go in advance. <clears throat> if you haven't done that yet and you want to come to the park, they put tickets on sale each morning at 8 o'clock for the following day. So with that being said, yesterday I looked up how many tickets they release and today is a Sunday, so yesterday they were releasing today's tickets, and at 8 a.m. there were 535 tickets remaining to be sold for today. Uh, this morning I got on and checked for Monday, tomorrow, and there were only 400 remaining, so I'm not sure if they release different amounts of tickets each day, if it depends on what day it is, I don't know. But all I know is that if you want a ticket, you need to get online right at 8 in the morning and then you should be able to get one for the following day. With the tickets for the North Fork Road, you have to get on, same thing, at 8 in the morning. It's uh, recreation.gov if I haven't said that. For the North Fork, they sell far less than they do for going to the Sun Road because the road up there only accesses Kintla Lake and Bowman Lake. And they're very narrow roads, so they really cut down on the amount of people they let in there. Again, I checked this morning, and there were 70 tickets available for tomorrow at 8 a.m. So if you're trying to get into the North Fork, for sure get online early and or at 8 o'clock to make sure you get one. The, the tickets for going the Sun Road, I looked yesterday, and there were still some available uh, by, at 2 in the afternoon. That's not to say that once the summer picks up more and we get closer to 4th of July in the middle of summer that they aren't going to go faster. So make sure you get online at 8 o'clock if you want to get tickets for the following day. So as you can tell, I'm a little annoyed with the new ticketing system. It used to be nice where we could just decide on a nice day we're going to come to the park and go for a hike, but that is not anymore. Now my wife, who you rarely see on these videos but has agreed to be on this one, has a differing opinion. Shockingly, we disagree on something, <laughs> but here's her opinion. So like Will said, we have a differing opinion on this. I understand the point that he's trying to make that it's a little frustrating when you, you know, want to just be spontaneous and come up to the park, especially as somebody that lives here. But as somebody that lives here and came up to the park quite a bit with girlfriends and hiked and loves to hike um, like I did last summer, it is nice that there aren't as many people in the park right now with the ticketing system and that you can typically find a parking spot. The trails aren't quite as crowded. I mean, with that being said, there were still a couple million people coming through the park last year. but. We were able to find parking spots and it was kind of nice. So there's my dissenting opinion. So as a recap, if you want to get into Glacier Park this year before four o'clock in the afternoon, on the west side, you need a ticket. All the entrances on the east side, you can get in. The one at St. Mary, I believe you can go up to Rising Sun before they stop you without a going to the sun reservation. But... Uh, the other ones, Mini Glacier and Two Medicine, uh, Chief Mountain up in there, you can get in without the pass. But just remember, anywhere on the west side, you have to have a pass to get in. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.